when someone trusts you, it's like giving you a treasure mm-hmm. for someone to be able to trust you. Yeah, they they invest a part of them in you. Yeah, you get it. So, so you, you don't need to. Sometimes it, it can happen. We've we've all betrayed someone's trust in a way, knowingly or unknowingly. unknowingly. But when you come to that realization, you should be able to ask for forgiveness. Absolutely. Because those people can hold on to that for a very long time. Guys, welcome again to this episode. We're going to talk about forgiveness today. Hmm. Topic of forgiveness. It's I have a very big problem sometimes mm. when it comes to there are things that I tend to hold on to them for a long, long. time. Yeah. yeah, and it ends up hurting myself because you bear that pain, right? Of course. Is there something? Let me ask you. Is there something that if someone does or hap- it happens, you find it very difficult to forgive? Probably, maybe God won't even be able to change your mind on it. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Um, for me, it will be like if someone I trust, like I trust betrays me or like someone stabs me in the back i mean it's all betrayal is there some know? some uh, have you got any incident like that that yeah you, you still got, you are holding on to um, unfortunately there's something like that and i've tried myself like i've tried pushing myself so, and i still pray about it sometimes so this person and the thing is you know sometimes you don't have concrete evidence mm-hmm. but you know that. It's happened. This person did this. It, it's happened. You get but, it. Yeah. And this person caused something that I I hold very dear. Mm-hmm. To I I lost it. I lost that that thing. And I I I always hold that against that person. I'm like you you this person. Like you are the reason why this particular deal didn't happen did for you? me. Yeah. And I don't know. I I I think I'm forgiven, but the pain, bro. Nah. Mine is a, a gone bad, um, probably relationship, and then the circumstance for which that relationship ended was the worst betrayal I can imagine. Yeah, and I don't. It's hard to forgive. Like I still talk to the person, anyways, but you know, I don't think I can trust that person ever <laughs> in my life. Yeah. So, just going to talk about a few of the things that we've heard from people that like um are things that they'll be they'll find it very difficult to forgive so examples of things that people find it very difficult to forgive right so a betrayal of trust of course i mean could be relationship pretty straightforward yeah Yeah. like you betray someone's trust and there are people who care less like of course that's the thing after all if you don't trust me again what is it but you don't know that when someone trusts you it's like giving you a treasure Mm mm-hmm for someone to be able to trust you. Yeah, they they invest a part of them in you. Yeah. You get it. So, so you, you don't need to sometimes it, it can happen. We've we've all betrayed someone's trust in a way. Knowingly or unknowingly. unknowingly. But when you come to that realization, you should be able to ask for forgiveness. Absolutely. Because those people can hold on to that for a very long time. Yeah. I don't know if there's a, a religious cause. They said if someone is hurting because of you, sometimes it you know, creates a bad religion. omen. But yeah. you know, yeah, betrayal of trust. There are people who can't, especially with friends like you. Yeah, you, you know, give me up trust. to my enemy. You know, I gossip like there are people who you see that person so so, and the person goes behind your back and tells that person. My it. sister has told me several times. A friend too, they discuss with you because they want favor from that person. They go. Yeah. It happens at, at work. People have lost promotions because, you know, someone went to speak to the boss that, mm-hmm. you know, lying, false accusation, yeah. all those I things. I don't know why people you get would it? do that, yeah. And I think another thing would be abuse. Abuse. Like emotional, emotional abuse, abuse, physical abuse. Those things traumatize people. People have suffered with abuse. There are things that even now, I remember my parents have said to me that, I'm angry yeah. at them for it. I still hold on to it. No matter, s- for some of them, I've not told them that you've said this to them. Yeah. I still bear that grudge against you. They're my parents. I love them to the to Pluto and back. But for that particular thing, I don't know why they should have said that. Yeah. And I still, it still hurts me. Yeah, completely right? understand. Yeah. And 
it could be physical abuse. Some people have been bitten by, you know, sometimes yeah. African parents can beat you and they don't know that children might, my, my. so one of my aunties said, yeah. um, our granddad like bit him. She, she made it like it was a passing comment with my grandmom and I heard it that that beats me because of so, so and so reason. There was nothing I had done because he wasn't in a good mood. He, he beat me properly and I still feel the pain. Yeah. Not the pain from the beating, but the hurts because he, he beats me. It could be from a boyfriend, it could be from a relationship. Like those things, people hold on to them for a very long time. Yeah. And I, uh, I think yeah. it's, it causes so much problems in the future. Like they are not able to let go yeah. when it comes to abuse. And then chronic neglect. Chronic Do you know, neglect. I spoke to a lady. Yeah. And then one thing that she mentioned it, it made me very sad was that she wouldn't be able to forgive her mom that the time that she needed her mom the most when she was very young the mom abandoned her left the dad and left him with the dad when she was very young to pursue dreams with a different man and then the mom had got for so many years and she's come back now that she's an adult that she wants to patch up that bond but she doesn't think it will work out she can't forgive her mom she can talk to her mom but she still feel that pain for that neglect that leaving her why did you leave me if i'm so important to you why did you leave me back home it's quite common with the dads yeah rather than the moms like Fathers. This person is not from Ghana. She's from a different yeah. country. Yeah, you, you, you'd hear loads of cases in Ghana. The fathers, yeah. rather than the mothers, because some you know on unprepared pregnancies and all that, and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm just going to buy." You hear the stories and they're funny. They're like, "Oh, I'm going to get baby milk," and then that's it. That is it. You don't hear from him again like 15 years, like pregnancy. It, it would very, I like, don't know how I'll be able to tolerate it, but. It'll be very difficult. It'll like, be very and it's that difficult because my dad or mom abandoned me. It's, like it's I wasn't very too important. I wasn't Bro, important to them. It's very common to have there are loads of daddy issues out there. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. And people are really they'll be like, fine. I mean, I forgive you, but the pain. And the thing is, forgiveness in itself can be a very complex thing. You can forgive someone today by mouth, but deep in your heart, bro, the pain would be there and it doesn't even feel like you're forgiving the person do you get it so so why why do you think it's actually that difficult so why is it very challenging because you know uh just one thing before we move on to why it's yeah. challenging right so there was this patient i spoke to back in ghana yeah. i think my last few months before moving from ghana and mm. she told me that you know that mess i was pressed to open um like Pass urine. I told her, I want to pass urine. I'm handicapped because of my illness. I wouldn't be able to walk. So can you get me on the commode? The nurse left her for how many hours? And she had to urinate on herself. Like she was weeping. And so the lady stayed, uh, the patient stayed on the ward for about two months because it was so bad. She had to go into surgery, come back and all that. And she still referenced that says she can't be able to forgive that nurse because she knew how independent she was and because of illness the nurse left her for her to pass you in on herself and yeah and i know. think you've just touched on a challenge the pain the emotional the pain, pain and trauma it causes you yeah like you you feel it imagine you've worked so hard for a particular job promotion like you're doing everything right and because someone doesn't like you or because someone has got a running mouth they just go and say something behind your back and you lose it. Something you've worked so hard for. Bro, yeah. the pain alone. Because, see, you, as as life progresses, we all plan things. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? You have it that, okay, in the next two years, this is what I want to become. When I become this, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. And because a friend betrays you or, you know, someone who doesn't like you, whatever it is, that thing doesn't happen. The kind of trauma it causes you, bro. It, it can ruin you and so it can be very difficult letting something like that go sometimes so that thing that i hold on to now that i really want to forgive but i can't there are days where when i remember 
I feel like something pierced in my heart. I'm telling you. It's been years. This is us like eight years ago, but I still feel that pain. Yeah. When I remember that person's name, there's some kind of I don't know how to describe it, but I hate that person mm. for that particular thing. Not mm. entirely. I hate that person and I still feel the pain from 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 that thing. I don't know if I'll be able, I I want to forgive, but it just keeps hunting she, me. She know why I'm laughing. I, I'm actually holding your grudge for you in my heart. You know that teacher? Yeah. That, that yeah. teacher who told you oh, that for issue. him. I don't know. See, when you told me that, it still hurts me till this yeah. day. Like to tell me that do I lie in bed with poverty? Like, how old was I? Very young. Maybe what, 14, 15, 16 years. I'm not the one who pays my fees. I'm not the one who takes care of myself. And you're able to tell me that. Mm -hmm. The pain, you get it. And and I think I suffered um, a similar issue with with um, one of my kid brothers when my dad died, where one of his, his teachers made a very funny comment. I was so pissed. Yeah. You People are it? just... And like, what? Oh, God. Ah, mm. nah, man. You don't know. You don't know. Nah. Okay, nah. so there are people who can't forgive, they still hold on to grudges because of a perceived injustice. Mm. So they think that if I forgive, you mean that I've actually accepted that it was fair. Yeah. So probably it could be for the most trivial reasons. I've had a, a quarrel with a colleague and because they think for whatever reason, this person deserves to be cleared off. So this person has insulted me or has been abusive verbally to me. Mm -hmm. We go to report to a manager or a boss and says, the person just gives a, a funny judgment like, oh, after all, what is it? Just, just let it slide. Or the person doesn't become concerning yeah. to that plea. Or a person, some, there are people who go back to shoot judges because of an injustice. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it happens a lot. Siblings hold grudges against their parents because mm -hmm. the parent was unfair to him mm -hmm. when they had a quarrel with their younger brother or their elder brother. Those trivial things. So if I accept or I forgive this person, I feel that no. It means I've actually accepted it that what the person did was right. Yeah, and, and it can feel that way, like yeah. you really said. That the things that I think um somewhere last year I saw a post on on X where a man had lost a son someone had murdered the son and the person was just going to prison i think it didn't result in a life sentence or whatever the man hit somewhere in the courtroom and shot. as the guy was passing just shot him yeah straight he doesn't mind head. going to prison like he doesn't care so far as he can't forgive the fact that they've lost a son mm -hmm. and you're going to live on taxpayers money of yeah. which is money is part in prison no bro can't do it yeah can't can't do it it's yeah no nah, and there are people it's, it's who difficult. are also like find very difficult to forgive because of a fear of repetition of course especially in relationship i can't forgive this person no matter how well the person has repented because he, re he repeated the person can be sitting on the right si hand side of god <laughs> and I, he... I won't forgive because it might repeat <laughs> itself yeah yeah that's right when you give someone the first chance yeah and another chance the person does it again no yeah, like nah this it won't person. happen the third time i know right you're saying man no. not the Fear third of, what, once bitten twice, twice shy. Shy. yeah you're cool i'll say i'll say yeah yeah because i mean sometimes it feels like a sign of weakness mm -hmm. you know like you're relinquishing control of of whatever has happened like so mm -hmm. it can be difficult yeah. but I, I think some way somehow you should let you should learn to let things go because like you rightly said you'll be the one feeling the pain especially it's painful to hold on to grudges yeah and... especially if whoever has wronged you doesn't even know no that they've done it so mm -hmm. i feel like this, these are all issues of, you know, conflict management and all that. Approach it head on. Mm -hmm. Just step up, bro. You did this. I didn't like it. Let's talk it out. Let's let's trash it. 
rather than harbor that pain and you know keep it in your heart in your heart especially when the person doesn't even know whatever action they have done hurt you do you get it do you know what is very painful is when you master the courage to tell this person that this is what you did and it hurts me and the person yeah. doesn't even remember or really they did like, i do this oh like, and why are you still even holding do you get it? The person like, but this like is nothing it. You know, yeah, it can be very painful. Very painful. And it makes it worse to be able to forgive like <laughs> the way this you know? guy is aggressive. No, I mean <laughs> so, you know when yeah. you have conversations with people and you also have you are you are in that similar situation, right? Mm-hmm. It just tends to aggravate your pain. Like knowing that you are not the only sufferer, you know. Definitely. And yeah. you know, we we also hurt other people. We do get it. So we probably do. this should be um a, a week to work everyone to work yeah, on yeah. you know I, i'm personally going to try very hard and reach out to this person and be mm-hmm. like you this person you did this you did this because of you i lost this particular deal yeah. so but I, you i forgive you do you get it and they probably might just laughing off that and that's the painful part mm-hmm. that i'm going to try to talk to you and be like but this is nothing mm-hmm. or I didn't do it or, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't have a part to play in it. But anyway, bro. Guys, so yeah. that is it. Like forgiving can be very hard. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very hard. Very, but very tough. It's not worth um, holding on to it as well. Mm-hmm. You, ha- you have to move on. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you are the sufferer. Yeah, Whether you sufferer. forgive or not, nothing changes anyways. So just try. Just yeah. try. It could take how many years, but you eventually get there. Yeah. It's yeah. not a sign of weakness. Save yourself the pain. Mm. Okay? And Relent. if you say you forgive, but don't not forget, it's still it's the same thing. pretty much the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, forgetting is mental torture, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, that is it. Share your experiences. With us? Yeah. Tell us your story. Let's that- see why you're not forgiving. Mm-hmm. And probably if you have forgiven, you can share how you went about it. In the Could comment section. useful to some of us you know who'll be reading the comment section thank you so much for joining us please please subscribe share tell someone about fnf and until we catch you on the next episode peace out